Hey guys, so today we got ourselves here a new electric chainsaw. So in this video we want to explain to you how to assemble one of these. As always, safety goes first, so you're going to wear some leather gloves in order to not get injured by the chain. And we also ensure that at this point the batteries are not installed and also here the chain brake is engaged by flipping it towards the front of the saw. In order to install the chain in the guide bar, we have to remove the side cover. In this case we have here this black knob that we just rotate counterclockwise and then we can remove the cover. Next we need the guide bar as well as the chain. So when you first take the chain out of the package then it's going to be all messed up and, uh, and it may take us a little while to successfully straighten it out. But when we eventually manage to straighten it out all the way then we have to make sure we have the correct orientation Meaning at this position right now, the cutting edge of the top of the chain has to face towards the right, so towards the uh, tip of the chainsaw or of the guide bar. And at this point we are going to feed the chain into the guide bar, so that the guide bar has a small slot in it and we're going to just feed it in there all the way. And now let's try to attach the guide bar to the chainsaw. So we have here this hole in that wheel and this hole goes over this bolt. And when we're now trying to also attach the chain, then you may notice that the chain is too short. So in case you're running into this problem, it's actually not the case that your chain is too short. You have to just do one thing and that is here, rotate this wheel here counterclockwise so that we loosen the chain tensioner all the way. And after we've done that, we should now be able to successfully install the guide bar as well as the chain. And now we're going to rotate the wheel a little bit clockwise in order to pre-tension it so that the chain doesn't fall off. And then next we're going to put the cover back on and we're going to rotate the black knob here clockwise. But we're not going to tighten it all the way since we still have to tension the chain at this point. And doing so is relatively easy with this model. So we're just going to hold the tip of the chainsaw with one hand and we're going to lift it up a little bit. And then we're going to take a look at the chain on the bottom of the guide bar. So you want to see here a gap between the guide bar and the chain of about 1 to 2 millimeters. And in order to adjust that, we're going to rotate here this red wheel that we have uh, by the cover. And rotating the wheel clockwise tightens the chain while counterclockwise will loosen it a little bit. And once we have our chain correctly adjusted, then we're just going to hold the red wheel in place and we're going to tighten the black knob all the way until it is really tight and at this point the chain is already ready and we can just cover this up here just so we don't accidentally injure ourselves or damage something else and then the next part is to install the batteries so it's going to slide those into the both slots and we have here two batteries and both need to be installed at the same time and in case we want to find out the charging state of the batteries, then there's a small little button on, on the top of each battery. If we press and hold that, then it's going to show us how full the batteries still are. Okay, so now there's one last step that we haven't looked at yet, and that is lubrication. And we need to lubricate the chain, so even though there's no combustion engine here, we still need some oil, and that goes into this little chamber, chamber here on the left side of the saw. So we're going to open this up, and then we're going to fill the uh, tank here all the way up and this is going to take care that the chain is going to be uh, properly lubricated. We never want to run our chainsaw without oil because otherwise the chain is going to degrade really really quickly. And we can make sure that we have enough oil in our saw by looking at this little window that we see on the side right underneath the fill hole for the oil. Yeah, so and this already concludes the uh, assembly of our electric chainsaw. It's, it is now ready to be used. So uh, best time to try out. We're going to push the power button here. And then the uh, safety lock on the side. And then we can pull the trigger and see if our chain runs nicely. Okay, so I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any more questions or comments, then please leave a message below. And if you like the video, then please give me a thumbs up.